Hello, I am Bentham and I have some very good news today because Factorio is getting an expansion. It was just officially announced and I totally called it on my Twitch stream like three days ago. I, I don't know this for sure, but I've been hearing some things. And I think that Factorio is getting an expansion. They're hiring people and there have been some hints being dropped. And I'm wondering if we may get an announcement about it as soon as this Friday. I think I got it pretty much exactly right. Because today, just an hour or so ago, the Factorio devs released a blog, a Factorio Friday fact, in which they announced that they were uh, making an expansion. The, the post is pretty simple, you can read it for yourself, it's not very long. Um, but the basic gist is, they were thinking about uh, where exactly they wanted to go from completing Factorio, they now consider it complete effectively at the 1.1 release and uh, they considered a few different options but ultimately settled on one big expansion pack as the way to go for their future development what they would work on next and uh that's that is kind of it unfortunately they're keeping their cards pretty close to the chest right now which is understandable uh, knowing the, fa the factorio devs they don't want to reveal anything until they know exactly what it is so i'm sure that they've got a lot of ideas about what they're doing and uh, they want to make sure that they're, they're fully committed to anything happening before they really go into too much detail about what it is. But we can make some guesses and we can make some educated guesses based on what else is said in the post. So there's a couple of different things that it could be, a couple of things that I've considered. It could be some kind of big overhaul thing, like an alternate way of playing, sort of like an expandalone, except probably not standalone. But something like Bob's Mods or C Block or something like that, where it you know takes the game and changes it. It's the same framework, but all the recipes are different, the buildings are different, and just kind of overhauling and changing it all to make a different experience that is still Factorio in essence. That kind of thing. It could also be that it's some kind of new branch of features where, like, as you play the game, there's some new kind of tech, a different color. Orange hasn't been used yet. Um, it could be orange science packs, and they unlock this kind of new area of, of technology, this new, like, set of mechanics that play into the game throughout the whole length and uh, something that is, like, an additional thing that you can have. Like, maybe it's, like, water-based tech, or, like, fancier stuff to do with biters. Maybe they fly now, um, or other things like that. Maybe a whole new range of vehicles. Maybe a big expansion to, like, different kinds of trains or something like that. But... The one that I'm banking on and the one that a lot of other people are both banking on and really, really hoping for um, is that they're adding space exploration in, in some way, shape or form, either in the form of like the space platform idea that they had a long time ago for like how the game would end or more akin to the larger scale mods that you've seen in recent times. But uh, something to do with expanding on the end game. So Factorio will, will be the same up to the point where you launch a rocket. I think it will be an extra thing that comes along once you're launching rockets. If you have the expansion, then once you launch a rocket, you don't just like win the game, get the points, get the science. You get to build stuff with it. You get to fly the rocket. You get to take it to other planets and all this kind of thing. And I think that they have some quite ambitious ideas about it. And the main clue that makes me think it's this, though, but I don't know, there's two main clues, and they could be red herrings. This could be something else entirely. I can't be sure, but I think that both these clues point most obviously to space exploration. Um, so one of them is the fact that they are hiring 3D artists like there is no tomorrow. They have already hired two, and they are still hiring more. Whatever they're doing, requires a lot of new art, a lot of new assets. And that means uh, the, the reason it's 3D artists is that they mix things in 3D and then they create 2D sprites from those things. That's how the buildings are made. That's how a lot of different things in the game are made, that they are 3D first and then they're, they're turned into 2D sprites. It could also mean actual 3D things like how uh, trains and cars and the tops of turrets are 3D because they rotate. And so in that case, the actual different angles of the model matter, that kind of thing. But that probably, like, I wouldn't bank on that. I think they're, just, they're, ma they're making 2D assets, but using the usual 3D methods. But yeah, so they're, they're wanting at least three new, new uh, 3D artists because they haven't stopped at two. I don't know how much further they're going to go, but clearly there's a very heavy element of, of art in whatever they're, they're making. 
there's the the job listing as well in case that gives anybody any clues about what kind of what kind of things are going to be working on i don't know enough about like specific game dev things to know exactly uh like what is unusual what might stand out as like something that they haven't been doing before but maybe somebody else will will spot this kind of thing they're also currently hiring an operations developer i don't know if this is particularly tied into the new expansion so much or if it's just uh they're just getting somebody because they need somebody for this anyway. Um, they didn't seem to be su suggesting that this was part of it. Could be a misdirection. Maybe there's some key thing here that I'm missing. Like this is all way beyond me. Like I kind of get the artist stuff. This is all. This is all completely outside my understanding. I just know how to put belts and and inserters together. I don't know how code works. I mean, I kind of know how code works, but I I don't know code languages and I don't know the differences and the, the, the subtleties. That are they're expressed in the different uh, things that are talked about here, so there you go. Other people are going to understand this better than me, but I don't think this ties in particularly. I think this is just general future stuff. I don't know. I'm going to stop talking about it because I know nothing about what I'm doing. There is another key clue, which is that they have also hired a concept artist who is known as Arendelle, a member of the community. And uh, they've made a bunch of mods uh, in the past. They've made, like, uh, some biomes and, like, things that occupy those biomes. They've made buildings, they've made vehicles, all that kind of thing. Quite a lot of vehicles that are uh, quite interesting. I would like to see more vehicles in the game. That would be very cool. But the, the key thing, the real standout thing that really, like, seals the deal for me is the fact that they are also the creator of the Space Exploration mod. <laughs> It is the most popular space-related mod in Factorio right now, and uh, it's ridiculous. I've never played it, but it is it is kind of nuts, and I kind of want to after looking at it, and also considering that we may be seeing a lot of this kind of thing soon in the in the the main game in the vanilla game. But yeah, it's crazy. Like traveling between planets using the rockets, um, ridiculous levels of UI. Uh, like detail and, and polish put into it new ores and all that kind of thing of course it's just it's the standard for this kind of thing um tech massively expanded lots of new buildings also all this art is fantastic which explains why they got the job they clearly know what they're doing this like this fits very well into the factorial world well it's kind of got a, a more kind of shiny spacey feel compared to the usual factorio stuff um but i think that's what they were going for so that makes sense but i could definitely see why the devs if they're going for space exploration, are like, this is we want this guy on our team. He knows what he's doing. Like he's made the mod for this. He's gonna have some good ideas about how we put this together. Space stations, uh, asteroid fields, and all, all sorts of cool stuff like that. All very well put together. Like it's like they've taken that space platform idea and they've used that as like the tiny grain for a massive, expansive ridiculous concept that completely like t it turns Vectorio into another game and this seems like what what the devs want to do I, I that's the feeling that i'm getting is that they want to create this but vanilla and you know it's not going to be exactly the same but this is the basic core idea and like all sorts of cool stuff also it's quite amusing that they're announcing this now when of course uh, dyson sphere program just came out and the one of the big things that has going for it is the space based stuff like the the factory building has its problems because like you got to build on a sphere but then that is the like that's balanced by the fact that because you're on a sphere there are other planets out there you can travel to you can beam power between these planets and stuff and it's like oh damn they may now be putting in all the things that uh that dyson sphere has has over on them i mean you still wouldn't be able to make dyson spheres in factorio but that would be practically the only thing that uh, it couldn't do the Dyson Sphere could, not to say the Dyson Sphere isn't awesome, by the way. I've got to say, if you've not been paying attention to that game, it is brilliant. I've been playing the crap out of it. Super addicted. This is the only thing that's made me briefly stop and do something else. The fact that Factorio's getting an expansion that makes it more like this game I'm obsessed with right now. So yeah, loads of amazing stuff in here that makes me very, very hyped for the kind of things that might come out of this collaboration. Um, I'm, I'm quite excited. This is my guess. I could be wrong. I may well eat my words. It could be something entirely different. But right now, all signs point to the space exploration expansion for Factorio. Um, what we do know for sure is that Factorio is getting an expansion. That is the direction that the devs are taking it. 
1.1 is the final version of Vanilla Factorio, and from here on out, uh, new things will be in the form of expansions and that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm excited. Even if it's not space, the other options are also brilliant. I'm I'm hyped about it either way. One one more thing that helps to to uh, highlight this is that they mention uh, that some of the additions require extending the engine. Um, they also say some could be reproduced with mods. That that tells me that like the the kind of things they want to do are the kind of things that have been modded before, which makes sense. Practically everything's been modded into Factorio, but it makes me think of space exploration again. And extending the engine means that it's probably not something like Bob's mods. That could refer to something like you know, something more game altering, like C block or something like that. But it points most obviously to to me to uh, like the new mechanics of traveling between worlds and like interacting in space and that kind of thing. Uh, oh yeah, there was another, like another thing in here that really excited me was uh, spaceships. Let me see if I can find this in here. There it is. Building spaceships, and then they've got like shields, and they've got lasers, and I, I'm, I, I want to do this. I want to make these. I really hope that if they're doing space exploration, they're doing spaceships. Like I don't know how much. Like maybe they want to be less ambitious than the mod, because like the, it, it's harder. In a weird way, it's harder to do these things when it's in the vanilla game. You've got to care a lot more about polish. It's got to work a lot more seamlessly. Because when something is a mod. People are, are ready for it to work like a mod. Be a little bit janky. They expect bugs. They they don't. They're not going to get too upset about a crash because they know they're messing with mods and that can happen. But when it's the main game, you got to nail it because if you don't, it it crashes and then people get really upset about it because they they like especially considering it's Wuba Software who never allow any bugs to slip by. They they will polish their games till they are like the perfect sphere like more spherical than earth or whatever the like and and how that all works yeah <laughs> they 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 don't stop till their games are seamless and perfect and they they would not allow crashes and bugs to to slip by so they they would it's going to take them a lot more effort to make something like this than it takes one person in a weird way so maybe they will be less ambitious with it. I I don't think they're gonna make a carbon copy of this. I think they're gonna they're gonna look at it and look at what they want and they're gonna come up with their own thing. But yeah, that that's I I'm just really excited. I'm really excited because I I feel like this is what's happening. And even if it isn't, an expansion is awesome because that's a lot of cool new things that we get to hear about. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. I didn't mean for this to hit 10 minutes. I wasn't I was, wasn't trying to be that cynical, but I ended up getting so hyped about it that I did talk for for uh well over that amount of time. There we go. I'm a, I'm really excited. I'm really <laughs> That's all I've got to say. Unfortunately, there's not that much right now. Like there's a lot of speculation we can do, but there's not much into like there's, there's not much concrete right now, and that's on purpose. They don't want to lock anything in until they know for sure that it's happening. Um so like they're now sure they're doing an expansion but they want to make sure they know exactly what mechanics they're bringing to the table before they start going on about it. And they also don't want to hype it up too much early on because this is going to take time. I don't think this is going to be out, like, particularly soon. I think it's probably not going to be this year because they're going to, I think, whatever it is, they're going to really go ham with it and they're going to, like, they're going to want to make sure it's perfect before they, they really start to show it to people. I get, I get that feeling um, that, like, we're not going to hear anything for a while, and then we're going to have a, a cool new wave of hype. But now we know. Now we know it's coming. I'm excited. That's all I can say. I'm really excited, guys. <laughs> all right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you think I do you think I got it, or do you think I'm completely off the mark? Uh, and is this the kind of thing you were expecting? I don't know. We're we're, we're going to see. I'm I'm looking forward to. Uh, to seeing how this all pans out. But we'll leave it there. I shall say goodbye. Thank you all for watching, and I shall see you next time.